Hey guys, Smallmouth Crush back again on behalf of Monster Bass. Want to make a quick video on the coffee tube, Strike King's coffee tube. Really great tube. I love tube fishing. Mind the traffic in the background. I'm fishing around a bridge, but the fish seem to be hanging out in all this current. Now, I fish tubes all over the country in all different types of applications, and there's so much to get into it. So I'm going to try to give you a quick crash course on tube fishing. But if you open it up, you'll notice that it, it is coffee scented. As of a lot of Strike King baits, they say it's because the fish dig the smell of coffee. I don't know. I like it. it smells good to me, so it probably smells good to a fish as well. Yeah, so there's a lot of application for tubes. I have green pumpkin, which is a standard color of mine. They, they come in a variety of colors, and they all work great. I really like green pumpkin when you're fishing clean, uh, clear water. And I use a tube insert. There's a lot of ways you could rig this. You could Texas rig it. There's all kinds of different setups, and you can get really unique with it. But I like a standard tube insert. So I wet it so it just goes in easier, and then you just insert that weight into the tube, push it all the way through. You gotta be a little bit forceful. Get that to pop out. You wanna make sure the tentacles are all nice and straight. And you just bring that hook point through. If it's if it's a shorter insert, just like so. Otherwise, if you get an insert that's a little bit longer, a tube insert, the hook will actually just come out right by the tentacles itself and you don't have to push it back through the tube. Variety of different tube sizes as far as the, the tube inserts. I'll use eighth ounce all the way up to an ounce depending on where I'm fishing. So I'm fishing deep current. I'm definitely going to be going to, you know, half ounce, three quarter ounce. When I'm fishing areas that don't have a lot of current and 10 feet of water or less, a quarter ounce is normally your best friend. And there's so many different ways to fish a tube. You can slowly drag it. You can hop a tube. You can rip a tube. You can fish a tube in the middle of a water column and make it look like a fleeing bait fish. And in this video, we don't have time to go through all the different ways to fish a tube. I'm going to show you a standard way that I fish a tube when I'm trying to fish for smallmouth. We got a lot of rock around here, so I'm going to expect some hang ups, some snags. But if I can get that, that bait to get hung up, and I'll show you a technique that I use to pop that free, and I actually get it free, sometimes I can get a reaction strike that way. We have current, so that technique isn't the easiest thing for me because that line will drag once that bait gets hung and sometimes it's hard to snap that that off. So you're going to lose a lot of baits because you're dragging this around the bottom and most of the time you're fishing it in areas that have good habitat for fish which are going to be rocky areas and places like that. So let me get up front, make a couple casts, share with you guys how I work it and see if we can catch a couple fish on the coffee tube. So my rod choice is going to be seven foot medium when I'm throwing a tube. I use braid to a fluorocarbon leader. Spinning rod and reel, of course. You can use it on a bait caster. I feel like I get a lot more feel. Fishing the tube is all about feeling the bottom, knowing what's down there. So we have current coming down this way. You can see a point up here. There's a lot of sunken wood and big bowlers down here. So I'm expecting to get hung up but this is where the fish live. So I have to fish this tube through here. So I'm gonna make a cast, let it fall. I'm gonna try to keep contact with the bottom. I just, so I'm just slowly dragging it across. I'm feeling it. It's imitating the crayfish. A lot of times that's, that's the type of structure I'm fishing this around. and then I'm reeling up the slack. Once I get hung, I'm not gonna yank on it. I'm gonna try to snap this bait and get that reaction straight. So I snapped it off. Normally that's when they grab it. However, that was pretty close to the boat. I think a lot of these fish, especially in the clear water, you wanna make long cast, get that bait away from the boat. Sometimes these fish can be pretty spooky. Passing it to a little eddy, working that tube along the bottom. There's a bite. Got him. Oh, nice 
Nice little small mouth to start out. There we go. I'll tell you what, smallmouth love tubes, there's no question about that. That's a nice looking smallmouth. Hit that Strike King coffee tube like there was no tomorrow. He wanted that, he was committed to that. It was an awesome bite. It's a really fun bite, uh, fishing tubes. Let's see if we can get a couple more out there. Again, ideally guys, if you're fishing a body of water that has no current, I like to keep that rod tip down and just drag it. I can do it for a little bit here, but I know with this current and the snags, it's going to cost me. So sometimes in this current, I'm just going to drag the tube, pop it off the rock. There he is. So I got out in this current, and I was just dragging the tube. That's a good one. Well, they fight, you can never tell. They fight so hard in this current out here. He's staying deep. It's actually a pretty good one. You just got to take your time with it. Oh, look at that guy. If that ain't a five pounder, I don't know what is. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. <laughs> I love big smallies. Come on. Uh huh? <laughs> Jeez. Look at the size of that fish. Wow. Just want to make sure I don't bang into the rocks here. So I was just dragging that and I'm going to say five and a half pounder right there. Whew! Look at that. Right, guys, get yourself some coffee tubes. You're going to hopefully put a big fish like this in the boat this coming season. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.